some things are just never said, no. Is playing with the whalers, the one with the shaker, the mover and shaker. My name wasn't on the front of the paper, but me not cater. Much more than the worker, the work is greater. Creation glorifies creator. So all these done are in the name of my maker. I am a legend. That you probably never hear about. person remembers my name, give praise, that means I made a change. person just like you if you take a look inside you see the great things that people do we out here changing lives day and night day in day out bbc don't show it cnn don't show it he's out Give me some breeze. 
prisoner and don't invade my space. I'm in a different place, different place, moving on my way. So if you feel like a champ, then nothing can go wrong. This one is your song. Hey, put away your troubles, put away your worries, help me sing along. Oh, it's my day to do anything I want to. It's my For every action, it's all mine. My day, my time, my life out oh, there. Feeling alive, feeling a vibe, and nothing can stop me. I don't care what they think or what they say about me. Look out, world, here we come, up and running. And all I'm saying is, it's mine. For every reaction, it's all mine. My day, my time, my life. Chimile, give tongues for life. Give tongues for life. Chimile, chimile. Oh, yeah. Give tongues for life. Give tongues for my life.
Good afternoon, everyone. To our Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mrs. Valda Bennett, Pastor Valda Bennett, Member of Parliament, Mr. Robert Chin, Representative from the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Janet Shaw Gooden, Education Officer, Members of the Clergy present, Principal, Mr. Paul Morgan, Guest Speaker, Mr. Layton Johnson, President-Elect for the Jamaica Teachers Association, Vice Principal, Mrs. Lorraine Reed Henningham, Counselor, Ms. Isabel Brown, PTA Representative, Ms. Paulette Richmond, sorry, PTA Representative, Ms. Yvonne Turner, past student representative, Ms. Pauline Richmond, all other specially invited guests, parents, all categories of staff, graduates, well-wishers, and a friend, good afternoon. It was Malcolm X that said, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Education is an important element in the struggle for human rights. Every year, we participate in this auspicious occasion, graduation. The event every year is practically the same format, but what makes it different is the students we celebrate with. And so this year, graduation class of 2023 will mark their exit under the theme, In Pursuit of Excellence. At this time, as is customary, I'm going to invite Mrs. Yvonne, Arkinson, Mrs. Yvonne Arkins, the apps coach, to take our request to heaven in prayer. Mrs. Arkins. To our specially invited guests, graduating class of 2023, to each and everyone that is here, pleasant afternoon. I'm going to invite everyone to stand as we pray. With our heads bowed, Heavenly Father, as we come to you this afternoon, Lord, we acknowledge that you're sovereign. We acknowledge, Almighty God, that we can't do anything without you. So with an attitude of humility this afternoon, Lord, we humbly approach your mercy seat. Lord, we give you thanks that you have afforded us the privilege of being here this afternoon to celebrate with the graduates of 2023. Lord, we thank you that you have allowed these dear, dear ones to accomplish this milestone. After being in high school for five years, God, you have been merciful, you have been good, and we want to thank you. We thank you, Jehovah, that you made every provision for them, that they were able, mighty God, to achieve a high school education. Lord, we want to thank you for the teachers who worked assiduously with them to mold their minds, to help them, dear God, that they could sit their exams and make it thus far that we are here this afternoon. Lord, we thank you for all the parents, the guardians, the aunts, the uncles, all the relatives and all the friends, mighty God, who would have been there supporting them over this time period. We give you thanks for those, Lord, who are also with them this afternoon to celebrate in such an achievement. Lord, we want to give you thanks, Jehovah God, for you said it in your word that in all things we should give thanks. So we are thanking you this afternoon that you have afforded us yet again another school year 
to be having another celebratory uh, service for our students. Lord, I want to place this afternoon's service in your hand. Lord, I pray for Madam Chair that, Lord God, you will indeed direct her this afternoon. We thank you for every aspect of this year's graduation exercise. Lord God, take full control and have your way as we give you glory, honor, and praise and do tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Arkins, for taking our request to heaven. We appreciate that. And again, I'll be taking you to the, through the afternoon's exercise. And I'm Rosemary Thompson Collins. I'll be your host for this afternoon. At this time, I'm going to invite Mrs. Marks to come and lead the hymn, To God Be the Glory. Again, I'm going to ask you to change your position.
has done indeed. And if you agree that he has done great things, I want you to say praise the Lord. Let me hear the men in the room say praise the Lord. Let me hear the cousins in the room say praise the Lord. Let me hear the male uncles. And if you're an uncle, you must be a male. Let me hear you say praise the Lord. Let me hear the fathers. I want to hear the fathers. All the fathers in the room, please stand for me. I want to specially recognize the fathers today. Awesome. I want you to put your hands together for the men who has made it here today. It's always a pleasure to have the fathers celebrating in this function, graduation. Thank you. You may be seated. And I'm going to be calling on a few of you as the program proceeds to do some exercise with me. It's, today is the day for your child or children or ward, and so we're going to celebrate it together. Now at this time, we are going to call on Shanicia Hall to do our first scripture reading, and it will be taken from Philippians 3, reading from verse 13 through to 14. Shanicia. Good afternoon, all protocols observed. Today's reading comes to us from the New International Version. I will be reading from Philippians 3, verses 13 and 14, and it reads, Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ. Here ends a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying. Thank you, Janicia. Moving right along, I'm going to, at this time, invite our vice principal, Mrs. Lorraine Reed Henningham, to come and do the official welcome. Master of Ceremonies, Mrs. Rosemary Thompson Collins, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Ms. Faith Valda Bennett, Vice Chairman, Mr. Bob Z. Allen, other members of the board who are here this, uh, this afternoon. I'm not sure if our member of parliament is here as yet. Okay, our principal, Mr. Paul Morgan, our guest speaker, Mr. Leighton Johnson, who is principal of Mushet High and the president-elect of the Jamaica Teachers Association. Our past principal, Mr. Ralph Nelson. Mr. Leon Thompson, he should be here representing the Carthage College, our twin school, and of course, our transitioners class of 44, our academic staff, administrative staff, ancillary staff, parents, well-wishers, we greet you all this afternoon. It is with great privilege and pleasure that I stand before you today as we gather to celebrate this momentous occasion here at the Center of Excellence. First and foremost, let me extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you here today. Today marks a significant milestone in your lives, and it is a testament to your hard work, determination, and perseverance. You have dedicated countless hours to your studies, participated in various extracurricular activities, and have shown tremendous growth and maturity over the years. During your time here at Cross Keys High, you have not only gained knowledge and academic excellence, but you have also developed a strong sense of character, compassion, and integrity. You have shown leadership skills in the various clubs and sports teams that you may have participated in. You have demonstrated resilience 
in the face of challenges and adversity, adapting to new situations and embracing change. Do you remember COVID-19? You have formed lifelong friendships and have created memories that will be cherished forever. Never forget the values you, that were instilled in you during your time at Cross Keys. Let, let me remind you of them. Integrity, empathy, respect, and kindness. These values will guide you in making the right choices and leaving a positive impact on the world around you. As you step into the world beyond these walls, you will encounter new opportunities and face new challenges. Remember that the, that the education you have received here has prepared you not only academically, but also to be compassionate, critical thinkers, and responsible citizens. I would like to take a moment, though, to acknowledge the unwavering support and guidance provided by the parents and guardians present, present here today. Your commitment to your children's education and personal development have made instrumental, have been instrumental in their success. Your love, your sacrifice, and belief in their abilities have laid the foundation for the exceptional individuals they have become. To the dedicated staff, teachers, administrative ancillary members, thank you for your unwavering commitment and passion. You have played a pivotal role in shaping the minds and the hearts of these remarkable young individuals. Your tireless efforts, patience, and expertise have made a lasting impact on their lives. Your dedication to excellence has inspired them to dream big and reach for the stars. Class of 44, as you embark on your next journey, always remember that our doors remain open to you. Your teachers, mentors, and friends will always be here to support and encourage you no matter where life takes you. Let us celebrate not just the culmination of your time here, but also the bright future that lies ahead. May your dreams be vast, your, deter your determination unwavering, and your heart filled with compassion as you pursue excellence. Congratulations once again, and I wish you all the, the very, very best in your future endeavors. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Mrs. Henningham, for that welcome and introduction. Now, uh, I heard about this gentleman who recently graduated from an institution. He went to look a job in the restaurant field. About a week later, he asked for a raise of pay. So the boss said to him, how oh, you want to ask for a raise of pay? You just come out of, college, just come out of high school and you know, have no experience. The gentleman turned to the boss and said, well, the work is so much harder when you don't know what you're doing. So which means I need an increase because I don't have a clue. These are not going to be the students that we are producing because here at Krosky's, we teach critical thinking and problem solving. Moving right along at this time, I'm going to be introducing, I'm going to be asking Mrs. Marks again to join us as we sing our school song. Mrs. Marks? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to ask you to stand, please. This is an excellent school song for an excellent school, and so we must observe such. The words for the school song can be found at the back of your program, so if you turn, you'll be find that there.
Thank you again, Mrs. Marks. And please note that uh, that song was written by Mrs. Camille Marks. So she wrote the song, and I think it is an excellent song. And if you agree with me, I want you to read the last line. Our motto, the last two lines. Just say it with me after two. One, two. Excellence, our goal. And graduates, I want you to work with me you now because me alone now work up here, so no far away up here, so I can't feel alone. All right, so I want you to pay attention sometimes when I raise my right hand, I want you to say, in pursuit of excellence. So whenever you see I raise my right hand, just say with me, in pursuit of excellence. When I raise my left hand, you're going to say, the center of the center of, watch me. Come on, a little louder. Excellent, good, working with me, you're working with me. And so I want our audience to help us to uh, have a smooth running program, and so you're going to be working with me at well, as well. I want you to know at this time, say with me, the center of excellence, after two. One, two. Cross Keys High School, the? So we like it. Moving right along, at this time, we're going to move on to the greeting section of our program. Uh, this time, we're going to invite our chairman of the Board of Governors, Mrs. Valda Bennett to bring greetings at this time. Madam Chair, put your hands together for her as she make her way to the podium. All protocol observe, and I'll just take it forward. This is a little bit more than greetings. This afternoon, we are here to celebrate with the class 44-2023 of the Cross Keys High School. It is, it is your transition to higher aspiration in your academic pursuit. On behalf of the Board of Governors, we extend to you our heartiest congratulations for another milestone being reached in your life. I want you all to put your hands together for class 44. Put your hands together, everyone. For another milestone being reached in our lives, in your lives, the task for, for our oversight became very demanding while striving to get more things done in view of the varied challenges ahead of us. And I'm here, and I'm sure I do speak on behalf of all the members of the new board. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all members of the board who have worked with me assiduously to get some work done over the past years in advancing the interests of the school. The principal, administrative staff members, ancillary staff, parents, security, grounds, personnel. Thanks for your tireless efforts and work over the years in seeing to the development and welfare of these students. Your work has borne fruits to produce these cohorts of graduates. We are cognizant of the motto, excellent our goal. And as a board, we are still on a learning curve related to the, the enormous responsibility. In order to realize our true potential, working with the mandate of the Ministry of Education in partnership with all stakeholders, we believe the vision, the mission vision of the school will be realized much easier. We also believe with the help of the Lord and by exploring new creative, visionary, and innovative ways Cross Keys High School can become the center of excellence. We truly and sincerely embrace the theme despite any present circumstances 
and we set our sight on building on the foundations of gains we've made this year with all the achievers. Some of those persons were recognized and rewarded with a little token at our recent successful prize giving held at the Cross Keys ground. Let us keep and maintain that focus that excellence has been the final frontier of this school and let the theme be more than just a phrase or an acronym. In conclusion, to all the graduates, this event is called a graduation, but I am happy that the ministry have recently made the adjustments to the nature of its reality, that it is more than of a transition. It is more, it is more of a transition for you to actualize in the higher learning of your choice. Hence, at the front and center of your minds, the journey continues for you as the sky is the limit. I trust you all can move to break new glass ceilings as you choose your career path. Enjoy the moment, but prepare yourself for the next eventuality. The quote of one great philosopher, the heights by great men were reached and kept, were not attained by sudden flight, but they while their companions slept, kept toiling upward through the night. Have a safe academic journey as you move to higher levels of learning to complement your young lives. On behalf of the Board of Governance, we wish you well in your future endeavors. May God bless you all. Put your hands together again for our Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mrs. Valda Bennett. At this time, we're going to invite Mrs. Shaw Gooden, Education Officer from the Ministry of Education. Is she here? No, moving right along. Is our Member of Parliament here? Not yet. Moving right along. I don't know this song, but I want you, the audience, to help me just to say one line. Uh, and I'm sure most of you would hear it already. It's a, it, the one line that I want is, I don't know if it's a line, it's one word, but it sounds like a line. Congratulations. Do you know that? All right, so I want you to do it with me after two. One, two. Congratulations. All right, moving right along. At this time, we're going to invite our Parent Teachers Association representative, Miss Yvonne Turner, to greet you. Is she here at this time? If not, we're moving right along. At this time, the representative from the Past Student Association, Miss Paulette Richmond, is going to join us at the lectern. Ms. Richman, put your hands together for her as she make her way here. I thank you, Madam Chair. Education officer, Mr. Principal, teachers, administrative, and ancillary staff, Chairman of the School Board, past principal of this noble institution, Mr. Ralph Nelson, Master of Sermon, Mrs. Collins, honored guest speaker, other distinguished guests on the platform and in the audience, a pleasant afternoon to you all. Parents, you're not left out. Well-wishers, boys and girls, welcome the Cross Keys High School graduation ceremony. Here standing this afternoon is a successful entrepreneur, a businesswoman, a very proud past student, a past parent, and a very close friend of this noble institution. 
Yours truly, Miss Paulette Angela Richmond. I am indeed pleased and honored to bring you greetings from the Cross Keys High School Past Student Association. I greet you from the decks of our president, Mr. Wayne Ellis, our vice president, Dr. Cheryl Thompson, member of the executive body, and all the other members of the Cross Keys High School alumni. We stand with you to celebrate and rejoice on this momentous occasion. The Cross Keys High School past student as body recognized the journey from a student to a graduate was a struggle for most of you. And as so, as you celebrate the end of your high school journey, we would love to let you know that we are extremely proud of you all. We therefore encourage you to continue to believe in and develop yourselves and trust in the power of God to bring you through ever challenges you encountered with. The path ahead may be uncertain, but always remember there is no dream that's too big for your achievement. And there is no limit to what you can do if you keep on believing in yourselves. We therefore implore you to continue to keep the Cross Keys High School banner at its highest as you venture out to colleges, universities, and even into the world of work. Always remember, no matter how high life takes you, this noble institution played an integral role in your developments. The sky is your limit, reach for it. The goals are yours, go for them. If your minds conceive it, then you can and will achieve it. On behalf of the Cross Keys High School alumni, it's with great pleasure I use this medium to invite and welcome you all graduates to join this prestigious League of Past Students of this noble institution. Please come on in, have a seat, sit back, relax, and enjoy this roller coaster ride. I thank you. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Ms. Richmond. Put your hands together again for Ms. Richmond. At the end, she said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the roller coaster ride. Indeed, it is a roller coaster ride, but I know that you will make the best use of the opportunity to be riding on a roller coaster. At this time, I'm going to invite our representative from the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Janet Shaw Gooden, she's the Education Officer for QEC 43, and we are going to take her as she comes. Please put your hands together and help me welcome Mrs. Shaw Gooden. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, um, my sincere apologies. I am actually coming from an activity where we opened, that's um, in partnership with Digicel Foundation, where we opened the Early Childhood, Childhood Legacy Project, an inclusive classroom for our infant babies. And so that's why I'm here, so my apologies. Let me get right into it. To the Master of Ceremonies, guest speaker, Mr. Leighton Johnson, Member of Parliament, Mr. Robert Chin, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Ms. Um, Reverend Valda Bennett, Principal, Mr. Paul Morgan, Vice Principal, Mrs. Lorraine Reed Enningham, members of the senior management team, academic and non-academic staff members, parents,
family members, friends, representatives from the community, other esteemed stakeholders and distinguished guests, good afternoon. Today, I am pleased to participate in this graduation exercise. I am also excited with what the Lord has done for this academic year. I can attest to gains and critical strides that the school has made. So please join me, and, and I imagine that you would have done your applause already, but I want you to join me in applauding the Team Crosskeys Center of Excellence for the work that they have done. Yes, extremely proud. So, yeah, uh, let me continue. All right, so um, as we gather to express best wishes and farewell to the 44th batch, of graduates, I truly want to offer much thanks to the parents for their efforts to see the students, their children, to the end of a yet another five years. Graduates, please go and do well. Make us proud. Have us invite you back to offer motivational session to our students that will walk through the rooms at Crosskeys, Crosskeys High. The future is bright. And as for you, so much possibilities. Seek out the jobs that best suit you. Go to higher heights and become employable. Take it to the next level. Reach out and grasp what God has ordained for you. Parents, please keep the partnership with whichever educational institution your children will attend. Don't let them stop here. Please, yes, it's okay to do a summer job, graduates, but continue to further qualify yourselves to meet these economic times. Position yourselves, parents, to support their continued growth and development and refinement. To achieve excellence, you must never quit. Spend time to check yourselves. Do personal evaluation occasionally to see where you are as you press towards your goal. To the administrators and senior management team, along with each member, today and year after, I implore you to seek to get better at what you do each day. Ensure that you achieve full rebranding status. Krosky's Center of Excellence is already setting the foundation. Seek to have excellence seen and felt in all you do and at all times in all of school's operation. Be targeted as you approach the new academic year 2023 to 2024. Let's make the commitment to ourselves and to God. Mr. Morgan, as you go off on your leave, sir, as a consultant to your predecessor, for the period, get your needed rest and do deeper reflections for future productions and innovations. To everyone, let us pledge to be excellent in all we do. God bless you all and God bless our Jamaica land we love. Continue to have an extraordinary afternoon. No, man, put your hands together again. You have to show our education officer that we appreciate her. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, thank you for reminding us. And we are quite aware that we are in a rebranding mode. And we have quite a lot to unpack today in our principal's report. Sir, let them know the package you have to share with them today. All right. At this time, we are moving right along. We are going to be having the collection of the offering in aid of the Performing Arts Department. And Bel Air School Band is going to be performing for us. Recently, they won the Jamaica Best School Band Competition. They came second in the island. And that is something I think deserves to be celebrated. And I want you to put your hands together for them as we welcome on stage Bel Air High School Band. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen.
all the smiles, no one in tanks for this town. I know until the sun goes down, no, to the night time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I tell you what you want to hear. Then my sunglasses are while I shed a tear. It's never the right time. Yeah, yeah. It's the only way to make friendship grow But I'm so afraid now Yeah, yeah
Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Bel Air High School Band. I want you to do it better than that, man. Do it better than that. Keep it going. They did an excellent job. Second place in the island for the Jamaica Best School Band. I think they deserve another round of applause. Put your hands together. At this time, I am recognizing that we have another member of the ministry team. Good afternoon to you, madam. Um, we have at this time the PTA representative, and that is Miss Yvonne Turner. Uh, we are going to ask you to come at this time and uh, give you a greeting. It is my pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to our valedictory service. As we celebrate the accomplishments of every student, as the president of the Parent Teachers Association of this noble institution, I stand with tremendous pride to bring greetings to the Cross Keys High School family from the PTA executive members. To the graduating class of 2023, congratulations to you all. Graduation is a time to imagine your future and the world to come. Graduates, it is remarkable to think that five years have come to a close so soon. I bet the journey was full of different ventures and moments full of twists and turns marked by countless challenges to overcome both academic and personal. Your learning journey should not end here with the innovative holistic and relevant education you have received, your future is vibrant. In our present society where issues looms, we are hopeful that you will use your skills and knowledge to create change and positive influence. This may be the path where you trod, your path independently, but I'm assured that as your parents, we will be supporting you along the way. So the sky is the limit, and your best is yet to come. So soar high like the eagles you are, higher and higher, and touch the sky. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Turner. Now, graduates, I want you to pay attention, and I want you to just look. I want you to say it with confidence. It's the center of excellence, and this is the in pursuit of excellence. Now, I want the audience to help me to say what we have said to them earlier, the little line, that one word. Congratulations. And that is for you. Moving right along at this time, I'm going to be asking members who together make whatever is happening here today possible. So I'm going to be asking the members of the academic staff to stand just to be recognized so persons know who you are. Uh, so the academic staff at this time, can you please stand? Listen, man, I want you to put your hands together for them. And we recognize that they are mostly red and burgundy in color. Is it saying that we are hot? Yes. Put your hands together again for the academic staff. At this time, we are going to ask the administrative staff to stand. Members of the administrative staff, nothing happens without them. They are very integral in our day-to-day -day running, and we want to show them our appreciation. Put your hands together. Our ancillary staff. These are the turners of the wheel. Can you please stand it to be recognized? Yes, yes. Show them the love they deserve. I like that. Betty, are you on there? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for showing the members of staff at the Kruskis High School your love in that fashion. At this time, we have some real big deal activity. We have some things to unpack. 
we have some goodies to give away and there is nobody else to do that than the head of the team. So at this time, I'm going to be inviting our principal, Mr. Paul Morgan, to make his way here to the lectern to give his report. And I wanted to show him some love as he make his way here. Put your hands together, Mr. Morgan. Master of Ceremonies, Mrs. Rosemary Thompson Collins, Mrs. Janet Shaw Gooden, Education Officer for QEC 43, of which Cross Keys High School is a part, Miss Sandy Williams, Education Officer for Human Ecology, Mrs. Valda Bennett, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Vice Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Bobsey Allen other members of the Board of Governors seated in the audience. Our guest speaker, Mr. Leighton Johnson, President-elect of the Jamaica Teachers Association and principal of Mushet High School. My predecessor, the original Mr. Ralph Nelson. Come on, show us some love. And seated beside him is Mrs. Nelson. Show some love. <laughs> Principals of QEC 43. I know I saw Mr. Anderson, right? I'm not sure if any other QEC 43 principal is in the house or any other administrator. But if you are, we welcome you here today. Our member of parliament has indicated that he's coming to this function. And so he has not yet arrived, but we're looking forward to see him and his entourage. Vice Principal Henningham, members of the academic, administrative and ancillary staff, parents, well-wishers in the audience, and our viewers online. And last, but by no means least, the big deal people, transition class of 2023. Let's put our hands together for them. It is my delight, profound delight and honor to provide a report as to where we are as an institution today in comparison to where we were when this administration first took office. On September 1, 2020, a new administration began its pursuit of excellence at Cross Keys High School. It was in the height of the COVID-19 crisis, Sir Layton. General staff meetings could not be held. As the new principal, I had to meet with small groups of staff members at a time over a day or two period due to the COVID-19 restrictions in a bid to become acquainted with them so that I could sell the new administration's vision of making Krosky's High School the center of excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, it was really difficult, really difficult for me because I could not meet with the entire student body all at once either. Online learning became the order of the day. To compound this problem, approximately 70% of the student body did not have access to the internet or devices. Ladies and gentlemen, what did we do? We decided that we would persevere. We would not be daunted. We organized the dropping off of lessons to communities where our students had no internet access. And some of these students over here benefited from that. We solicited support from our stakeholders to acquire devices for our students who had, had internet access but had 
needed devices, I should say, had internet access, but needed devices. We had to be innovative in the delivery of our lessons and in the running and operating of the institution. We conducted online staff meetings, online devotional exercises, online student leadership induction services, and online choral services. It was just online, 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 online. Friends and well-wishers, we had almost two years of this before face-to-face -face instruction resumed officially on January 10, 2022. However, despite the COVID-19 challenges, the administration still made strides in our first two years of office in the following ways. One, the declaration and rebranding of the institution as the center of excellence to provide a meaningful focus for the transformation of the institution. Two, the penning and arranging of a school song by Mrs. C. Marks to rally the school together as we embark on a new era. Three, a school management system was successfully implemented which replaced the system of student academic reports being done manually. Four, the merging of the science and agriculture departments took place to create greater efficiency. Five, a head of department for mathematics was appointed. Six, the formation of the visual and performance arts department to create an avenue for students to excel in the arts. Seven, the new controversial appraisal instrument of teachers was implemented. And um, at eight, a new bursa and executive secretary came to town. Nine, the vice principal's office was relocated to give more prominence to that office and so that the holder of the office could seriously concentrate on providing quality support to the principal. And 10, job descriptions for almost all senior teachers were written and updated as there were several persons on the senior staff who were without job descriptions prior to September 1, 2020. 11, job descriptions were also done for members of the support staff who were without job descriptions. 12, new portfolio assignments were added to the senior teacher body, such as data management coordinator, intervention coordinator, NSLC coordinator, devotion coordinator, etc., which were necessary as the institution charted the path to excellence. 13, yearly reshuffling of the senior teacher body to ensure accountability, efficiency, and performance. 14, incentive programs were designed and implemented for staff and students. 15, prize-giving ceremonies and boys' and girls' empowerment days became annual events. 16, a new school improvement plan was prepared and was dubbed Roadmap to Excellence. 17, assistance to needy students was expanded. 18, improvements, and I'm taking time with this one now. Improvements in the relationships between board and principal, staff and students, staff and administration, and among staff members have been realized as this is critical to the growth and development of any institution. If you're gonna clap, clap. Don't be thank you, thank you. If you're gonna clap, clap. Because united we stand, divided we fall. Number 19, succession planning among the senior leaders body was implemented to ensure that in the absence of the administration, school could operate smoothly. 20, the improvement and delivery of customer service at the administrative office and at the school gate. Yes, put your hands together. And so, ladies and gentlemen, if you dial the school in the morning and the, someone from the main office or the executive, executive secretary picks up 
you're going to hear something like this. And I quote, Krosky's High School, the center of excellence. Good morning. If it is in the afternoon, it's going to be Krosky's High School, the center of excellence. Good afternoon. We're talking about improvement in customer service. 21. Termly staff evaluations of the progress of the institution and recommendations for what did not go well each term. 22. Annual stakeholders evaluations of the institution. 23. Yearly capacity building sessions for all members of staff, inclusive of the support staff, being intensified with certification of participants of attendees of these sessions. 24, the dubbing of first Mondays of each month as motivational Mondays to encourage excellence and perseverance among the student body. Don't be thinking with the clap, clap. 25, the drafting of policy documents such as the behavior modification policy, student online behavior policy, and private electronic device policy to guide student behavior. 26, yearly revision of the school's curriculum in keeping with the recommendations of the Ministry of Education and Youth and the school's curriculum implementation committee. 27, implementation of the Punctuality Matters Incentive Program to reduce high incidence of unpunctuality. 28, weekly thematic devotional exercises to aid in the development of our students' character. 29, yearly week of spiritual emphasis to inculcate in our students that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. 30. Establishment of the principals and vice principals on a roll. 31. Recognition of top performing students in end of unit assessments. 32. The provision of administrative assistance to the office of the vice principal. Dean of Discipline and Guidance Counselors. 33, reintroduction of the sixth form program. 34, the establishment of a strong staff welfare program headed by Mrs. Lorna Griffiths DeMard. I could go on and on with regards to the accomplishments of this administration over the two years but you know with all the accomplishments of the administration with very limited resources the school slogan says we are getting there so this administration is not complacent with the strides that we have made and we are committed to taking the institution even further ladies and gentlemen Fast forward to the academic year 2022-2023, which began on Monday, September 5, 2022, with our annual reopening ceremony, which is again an initiative of this administration. The ceremony's theme, it shall be well, resounded with students, staff, parents, and our representative from the Ministry of Education and Youth, Mr. Lamar Edgil. And I note our member of parliament has arrived. Please make him welcome. <laughs> Dr. Barrington McLean, Sabbath School and Personal Ministries Director of the Central Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, assured the school family in his presentation that morning that despite what may come our way during the school year, be it negative or positive, it shall be well. As we reflect as a school family on this school year, we can attest that we did have high and low moments during the academic year. But we still must declare that because God was with us, it was well. Some of us became ill. Can you imagine your principal out of school for one week? 
unheard of. Some became ill, and some of us lost loved ones. But it was well, because God was with us, and will be always with us. He says he will never leave us, nor forsake us. And friends and well-wishers, what an assurance from our master. Ladies and gentlemen, at the reopening ceremony on September 5, 2023, contrary to the expectations of many persons, most of the student population, master of ceremonies, turned up decked out in the new school uniform. I was elated, as many persons had said it would not happen. But I know my parents understood the mission and that they are quite fashionable and trendy, that they would not have their children wearing the old uniform so that they would feel odd among those who are wearing the new school uniform. Thank you, parents, for your support and understanding. <laughs> Applaud yourselves for me, please. Let me also add that the officials of the Ministry of Education and Youth who encouraged the change of uniform and other stakeholders gave us high marks for the change as they agreed that a symbolic act was indeed needed to emphasize that the Board of Management, Administration and staff were serious about rebranding the institution. The academic year began, friends and well-wishers, with Vice Principal Henningham proceeding on eight months vacation leave. The Board of Management appointed Mrs. Rosemary Thompson Collins to be my co-pilot during the absence of Mrs. Henningham. You will agree with me that a capable and efficient co-pilot was she. Thank you, Mrs. Collins. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the institution returned to competitive sports during the academic year by participating in all ISA run cricket competitions, under 19, 16, and under 14. The teams did not do well, if we're to be frank. Although we had some individual great performances. However, what was important for us at this time was the exposure for the students after COVID-19 and laying the future for cricket at Cross Keys High School as the students are now eager to compete with the established schools again. The under 14 cricket team must be commended and you have to applause now must be commended for placing third in their group, right? Ahead of teams such as Monroe College, Black River High School, Claude McKay High, and Alphonsus Davis High. Based on the performance of the under-14 cricket team, we can see Sir Nelson that the future is bright again for cricket. Because I heard it was bright before um, my time. So it's bright again, right, for Cross Keys High School. Ladies and gentlemen, our football program officially began on December 1, 2022, with coach Steve Cole almost at the end of the DaCosta Cup football season. The program began at that time to signal to our student body that for the academic year 2023-2024, the institution would be creating opportunities for our students to excel not only academically, but in areas where, where they exhibit a lot of talent and promise. After training for almost four months, the team and their coach decided to test the waters by participating in a football rally at, held at St. Elizabeth Technical High School on Saturday, March 25, 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, they got a battering. They lost all four games against their much more experienced competitors. However, they are to be commended 
for showing character and for giving of their best throughout the rally. Like the cricketers, yes, yes, give it up to them, give it up to them, they deserve it. Like the cricketers, the majority of students in the program are young, giving the school an advantage as we look to the future. Due to financial constraints, the team took a two-month break from training, but resumed training on June 1, 2023, to continue its preparations for the ISA-led competition. We welcome your financial support, and I'm telling you straight up now, in the summer, we plan to camp these boys. And you and I know that at this age, the boys eat a lot of food. So here's the thing. Those of you who can give us a chicken, or two, some yam, some banana, some malta, some okra, some something, some chocho, you can see me right after graduation as we make preparations for the upcoming football season. Let me use this medium to commend our sports master, Mr. Junior Deans. Give it up for him, please. And Mr. Steve Cole for once again registering the institution's presence on the educational landscape where competitive sports is concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, in the era of track and field, the institution participated in the Arthur Wind track meet on Thursday, May 25, 2023, at the Cross Keys Community Center. And I'm just going to brag, all of the students who participated won medals. Yes, man. Go ahead. Some students ended up winning several medals, Mr. MB. Four of our students were awarded four running spikes from the Social Development Commission based on their winning performance in the 400-meter race. The medals and awards are a source of motivation for the students who are ready and rare to compete in other track and field events and I'm glad the MP is here I know he's going to do something extra, extra special where that is concerned Mr. Chin Mr. Odane Makati teacher of HFLE is to be commended for chaperoning the team at the Arthur Wint Classics like many other high schools in Jamaica and the Caribbean friends and well wishers our 2022 grade 11 cohort did not perform as well as we would want them to in the 2022 external examinations due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Of the 21 subjects that our students were entered for in the CXC CSEC examinations, our students performed satisfactorily and above in only eight of these subjects. The results in these eight subjects are as follows, and I want you to applaud them, and their, the students and their teachers. Agriculture, 100%. English A, 50%, 57%. Family and resource management, 80%. Food, nutrition, and health, 50%. Office administration, 80%. Principles of business, 50%. Yes, man, give it up. They came through COVID and the pandemic. Visual arts, 67%. Physical education, 100%. Our six formers did creditably well. I'm proud of it because in preparing the report, I recognize that the six formers of last year did quite well, right? In mathematics and English in City and Gills, which is an English-based examination body. Their average performance in stages two and three for mathematics was 75%. While their average performance in English for stages two and three was 90%. Our grade 11 court then was not that successful in their performance as their six form counterparts. Their average performance in stages one, two, and three in mathematics was 31%.
while their average performance in stages 1, 2, and 3 in English was 59%. Yes, clap them, clap them. They have to motivate them. In the NCTVET program, Miss Sandy, which is a program that is competency-based, four students were fully certified in their vocational areas. These areas are as follows. General Cosmetology, Level 1. Commis Chef, Level 2. Baker Chef, Level 1. And Commercial Food Preparation, Level 2. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the administration and senior leaders looked at the results quite critically, especially with the students who, you know, the results that were not where we want it to be. And from that, we decided that in light of the fact that the results were not where we wanted to be, and the discovery that many of our students between grades seven to nine are reading way below the grade levels, all departments were mandated to put in place an intervention program for students. Department heads and their teachers were also encouraged to modify the national standard curriculum and the CXC CSEC curriculum in the various subject areas. I want to, however, this afternoon, single out the language arts department for special commendation for putting together a proposal for reading known as the T-Tech model, which was implemented during the school year. Mrs. Barker Thompson, yes, 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 clap, yes, clap. I don't know if she's here, Mr. Thompson, representing the Carter College, she's not here. He's here, but she's not here. Mrs. Barker Thompson, I want you to convey to her, although on eight months vacation leave, made herself available to lead the team of committed teachers from the Department of English and our apps coaches to revive the school's reading program. Yes, man, give it up, people. This, this is what you call commitment. Somebody's on eight months vacation, but returns to put the program together. Special commendations must be given to Mrs. Thompson Collins and Mrs. Marcin Day, former PTA president, for their efforts to raise funds and champion this intervention program. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that our student enrollment fell, I don't know if it happens up in Mushet, if it stays up the level there in Mushet, but down here it fell. It, did it fall up there? Okay, so it's across the board. The fact that our student enrollment fell during the academic year, which led to less money being sent, Mrs. Shogun and Miss Sandy, to the institution by the Ministry of Education and Youth to run the school meant that a number of fundraising ventures had to be initiated so as to raise funds for the various programs of the institution. One such fundraiser was a walkathon, which was held on March 15, 2023, so as to assist our reading and sports programs. Yes, 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 yes. The event saw staff and students walking from Cross Keys Square to a place called Rod's Corner and back, including this principal. I don't know how they can find the picture. Right? Yes. This was a successful venture as we collected almost $170,000 on this drive. Walkathon 2024 will be bigger and better come next year because guess what? We're going to all put on our track shoes and walk it to the town of Mandeville. <laughs> I know I would catch you with that. We might not start at Crosskey Square, but we might need to get a little nearer to Mandeville, Mrs. Evans. But our Newport are somewhere. Walk it into Mandeville because that's where the money is, you know. You hear, you're not hearing me down there? That's where the money is. You know, stop up a road's corner. 
right? And based on the plans for next year, we're going to need all the money that we can get, right? Thanks to those who supported this venture by contributing funds, soliciting funds, and participating in the walkathon. Ladies and gentlemen, on the matter of fundraising for the institution, during the academic year, we came to the realization that as an institution, we have the capacity to create and sell food products so as to raise funds so that we can minimize the number of products we purchase externally, while at the same time creating the opportunity for our students to learn in a school-wide project. This realization led to our project-based learning program, which was spearheaded by Mrs. Thompson Collins. Almost all departments, and I'm, I'm wondering why I don't have some of the things in my hand. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Products of Cross Keys High School. Hello, hello, hello. Products of Cross Keys High School. Planting tarts. Planting tarts. Gizada. Come on, put your hands together. Our teachers and our students. And this one is... Okay, this is the pineapple tarts. And guess what? They're on sale here today. They're on sale here today. Cross Keys High School, the center of excellence. They are on sale. There's a stall or somewhere on the outside. Right, Mrs. Collins? Ensure you get those goodies from the center of excellence. I want to commend the departments that work closely with that project, right? And I'm saying to the other departments, in particular, industrial arts, human ecology, and agriculture, that I want those three departments to take the lead in the next school year, to earn much needed resources for the institution, right? By having our students participate in a work and study program. We want to be the first with that. To have a work and study. Oh, Mr. Layton, you're shaking your head. You have it. Well, great minds think alike and fools seldom differ. During this school year, the business education and information technology department raised the profile of the institution by being the champion for the region's chase business pitch competition by beating institutions such as Winston Jones High School, Bishop Gibson High School, St. Elizabeth Technical High School, Nain High School, Newell High School, Hampton Girls School, right? And Magatti High School. We were placed first. The team went on in the Marketing Maven competition, which is an all-island competition. I wonder if you heard me down there. I said all-island competition, which includes Mushet High School. All-island competition, where they again came out on top, beating high schools across Jamaica. High schools such as From Technical, York Castle, Wycliffe Martin, St. Diego, Vauxhall, Winston Jones again. <laughs> Dr. Mack, make sure she didn't come today, you know. She must have seen my script because she's supposed to be here, Dr. McClockin. Beating Teachfield, Morant Bay, Maud McLeod, Holy Childhood, Hampton School for Girls again, Convent of Mercy Alpha, Grange Hill, Karen Hall, and Yalas. Yes, man. Yes, man. Give me the product right now. In my hands is the product which was designed. All we want down here is a manufacturing plant now, you know. Because we are going big now, you know. The product which was designed and produced by the business department is blissful hair oil, which is intended to bring about hair growth. And I'm here thinking that I might need to get some. 
for my hair because I'd love to have some hair growth. I'm told that there are several orders for the product right now. Yes, yes. And it is on sale right here today. Right here at the transition, cer transition ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the Farm Tree Business Basic students also did a project management masterclass training session with trainers from overseas through the Chase program on May 25, 2023. The team won $25,000 to be used as an investment in the project. Yes, yes, clap them. Mrs. O. Barton Richards, is she here? Please stand. Mrs. C. Bradford, where are they? Okay. And Mr. Wilton King, Mrs. Bradford is here, one of the members of the team. They're responsible for, produce, for getting this product from our students. Put your hands together for them. They are to be commended for leading our students to top this competition. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think we're done, we just are come. Just recently, Cross Keys High School entered the Ministry of Health and Wellness Dare to Move Challenge, which was again an all-island competition. Yes, man, you heard me, and you heard me quite clearly. An all-island competition. And again, we were crowned champions. <laughs> Mr. Odeen Makati and the group of six form. And I want Mr. Makati to stand, you know. Because let me tell you something. And I hope nobody gets offended. I love all the teachers, and I, and I rate everybody. I rate everybody, but there are some among us who are really packing it in. And you have to celebrate them when they do so. That's the way you get motivation going. And Mr. McCarthy, please stand and take a bow. That's the teacher who joined the staff just in January and is just blazing the trail. Blazing the trail like that. He and the six farmers, they are responsible. They're on the screen. That's them. They're collecting their prize from the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Friends and well-wishers, time is not available for me to tell you of some other events and activities in the school year, such as our student welfare program launch, our boys and girls empowerment days with Dr. Christopher Tufton and Miss Elvi Cornwell and others. Come on, clap, Dr. Tufton was here. Read across Jamaica Day, our NEI inspection, which preliminary reports indicates that we are ahead of where we were in 2017. <laughs> Prize given 2023 with Mrs. Basilia Barnaby Koff. Play Day, our yard giveaway sales, our parent month and child's month celebrations, the revising of our student handbook so as to aid to instill discipline in our students. The increase in our fleet of technological devices. Can I tell you, eLearning Jamaica provided the institution with 65 laptops. So we have additional technological devices and other equipment to aid in lesson delivery. The increased support, I must talk about this, of our past students the increased support of our past students, in particular, put it up, give it up for them. I want to clap them because they're planning another fundraiser for me, you know. So big it up, big them up. Yes, and she's taking a bow. The increased support of our past students, in particular, Batch 1997, which hosted its reunion on Saturday, May 27, 23, and from the proceeds of that venture donated a total of $300,000 to the institution. 
we established a special day in our school's calendar this year to celebrate our ancillary staff workers who do an exceptional job of making the school environment squeaky clean. <laughs> applaud them for me. I have to applaud them. I went into the supermarket some time ago in Mandeville and a health inspector said, oh, you're the principal from the clean school. <laughs> Come on, man. You're the principal from the clean school. Right? Sports Day 2023, a one Saturn. <laughs> That's what Miss Ava would say. Week of spiritual emphasis 2023 with Pastor Kevin Richards of the Asia District of Seventh day Adventist Church. You know my name. Parent teacher consultation 2023 was a huge success as parents and guardians turned out in their numbers. Thank you, parents. The numerous capacity building and psychosocial sessions for staff and students. The expansion of our NC Tivet programs with the introduction of barbering. Right? Barbering and the reintroduction of automotive technology. 18, and this one is special, because up to Monday and yesterday, conversations were being held with me, Member of Parliament, Mr. Chin, on this one. The indication of the Minister of Education and Youth, Mrs. Favor Williams, and the Building Officers of Region 5, that the school's leaking roof problem will be attended to in short order. Come on, clap, 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 clap. You don't understand what it means when rain begins to fall on us over there. Ladies and gentlemen, let me use this opportunity to thank a hard-working board of governors led by Mrs. Valda Bennett. Please give it up for them. Let me express thanks to Education Officer Mrs. Janet Shaw Gooden. Oh boy, when she comes at you, she comes at you. But she provides continually guidance and supervision for the institution. Clap her, please. <laughs> Miss Millicent Price. Miss Millicent Price. Miss Millicent Price. And I'm going to ask her to stand. That's my secretary. That's my secretary. <laughs> Committed and dedicated. Miss Sis G. Hutchins, where is she? I need her to stand to Miss Gwendolyn. I call her Hochi. Hochi's not here. Oh, you see that lady over there? She's responsible for taking care of me, taking care of my office, and she makes sure I eat on time. Put your hands together for her. Vice Principal Henningham, please stand. Please stand for me, madam. She stands in the gap for me when it's necessary. The accounts department, led by Miss T. Lyle. Where's Miss Lyle? Please stand and take a bow. A lot of work takes place over there, led by her. Mrs. Camille Folks Marks, a new kid on the block. Right? A new kid on the block. With regards to the senior management team, where is she? She's outside. We need to applaud her. Some serious talent, some serious work is coming um, where she's concerned. And you know, as I think about the team, and I am cognizant, Sir Johnson, of the fact that this is my 28th year in education. Look good still, not popped down, but it's 28 years. You know when, I think it's Simeon or somebody in the Bible, when they were, you know, said, Lord, let us thy servant depart us in peace. Because I've seen, my eyes have seen the glory of the Lord. I think it's time, very soon, when you can sit back and see people, another generation, second tier leadership, 
that can move an institution forward. It's very important. <laughs> applaud these persons for me. I also want to applaud in her absence, Mrs. Cheryl Anderson. I don't think she's here right now, you know, because she and another group of persons are preparing for barbecue 2023 tomorrow. That's just awesome. And I want all of you who are here to be there tomorrow to ensure that you get, you support the institution. We're on a serious literacy drive, serious reading program, and we want to get our boys and our girls out there where sports is concerned. Put your hands together for that team working assiduously for tomorrow. How can I forget my guidance counselors? Mrs. Jones, Beverly Jones, and Carolisa Wellington. Deans of Discipline, Mr. Samuel Smalling. Is he here? Dean, Deans of Discipline, Mr. Samuel Smalling. Take a bow, sir. Put your hands together for him. Where is Mr. Jerry Griffiths? Those men allow me to get some time in the office to do some work. Right? And I want to commend all members of the academic staff. Don't watch the thing that I meant mention of some people. Your names came up last year, and if next year I'm alive, your names will come up. Put your hands together for the academic staff, the total staff, the administrative, the ancillary staff. Put your hands together for our parents and our students, the supportive past students and well-wishers of this institution. Without you, we would not have made the gains that we have made. Thank you all very much. You would have heard that come September 4, 2023, I will be off on eight months vacation leave. Yes? Somebody want to clap? Clap. <laughs> I would clap too. <laughs> Good. All right. Clap, man. You, you wanted me to go a long time. All right. Great. <laughs> All right. I'll be off on eight months vacation leave. I ask from all of us who are here that you support the team of leaders that will be in place as the institution continue its pursuit of excellence. Hello? I'm, I, I want you to commit to that. I want and I want the commitment to that. At this time, I ask the transition class of 2023 to stand. Please stand. And boy, you look plenty this year. Yes? Please stand. For my final words to you as a group. I want, as you contemplate moving forward in your academic sojourn, whether with us, and I'm hoping that it will be with us, or elsewhere, to always remember Cross Keys High School. Always remember Cross Keys High School, Matthew. Never forget your teachers who gave their best to you. I charge you to find a way to give back to your school. Become a member of the Past Student Association. Make your parents proud as they have sacrificed a lot for you. Make yourselves proud by turning away from negativity and reaching for the stars in your quest to achieve greatness and your dreams. Serve your community. Serve your country well. Do not forget the God of your mother. Do not forget the God of your father. May he continue to bless you all. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. I think this deserves a standing ovation, and I'm going to ask you to stand, please, as you put your hands together for a very comprehensive report by our principal. He unpacked 
most of the things, all of the things that I told you he was going to unpack. You may be seated. Sir, you, you mentioned 34 points. I paid special attention to point number 26 where you spoke about relationship. I remember many years ago, uh, we, our previous principal, Mr. Ralph Nelson, he, he staged a presentation. He did a presentation on task and relationship who are willing and able as opposed to willing and unable. And that presentation stuck with me until today. It was excellently done and I understand that it is difficult to accomplish the task without relationship. And so it emphasizes the importance of relationship in accomplishing the, tha the task. Thank you for that. Put your hands together, man, it's fine. We thank, I remember the presentation. Mr. Nelson did a very good job then on the, that presentation. In terms of the percentage pass that you mentioned, sir, who can really say that nothing na guan dung across is? Who can say that? Nobody, because the truth is they, they are not in a position to compare where we get them as opposed to the value that we add. We are in it and we can speak and I think that we would have added much value and I want the audience to help me to do that one word to the graduates after two. One, two. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, sir, who can tell me how many all island first place we got from the presentation? Quick, quick. How many all island first place? Two. Who said two? Who said two? Mrs. Arkins. Mrs. Arkins. Yes, so it means that nationally we are making the strides. And what we want is support from all the stakeholders. I'm not going to be very long because Mr. Chin is here and I know that he's here to tell us the, all the things that he has to, you know, to assist us with. So I'm going to seek the permission. I'm going to ask at this time to invite our member of parliament, Mr. Robert Chin, to do his greetings. I know he's not going to be very long, hence I'm going to slip him in right here. Mr. Chin, sir, please put your hands together as we invite our member of parliament, Mr. Robert Chin. Thank you, Madam Moderator, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Principal, Teachers, support staff, parents, well-wishers, children, graduates, good afternoon. And special mention to our guest speaker. I just assume that that's a principal from Mushet. Welcome. I won't be long. Um, let me first apologize for being late because it's, you know it's a graduation season and I've been to three graduations since this morning. One at Poros, that started 10 o'clock. One at New Forest, that started 10 o'clock. And one in Grove Town, that started 10 o'clock. And if you know the distance from Poros to New Forest, you know it's a lot of road, a lot of journey covered. But I made a special effort to be at all because education is very, very important to me. And I want to encourage the students at every opportunity that I can get, encourage them to push forward, encourage them to stay the course, encourage them, let them realize that education is the key to success. And I tell you briefly my story. When I left high school, as a matter of fact, 
at fifth form, leaving fifth form, I was 15 years old. So they pushed me to sixth form. So leaving sixth form, I was 17. And I wanted to be an airline pilot. I wanted to be an airline pilot. However, it is at that time I realized how poor I was. Could not afford the flying school. Did ground school, but just did not take off in the air. So I had to go on. I had to go to work. I had to go to work. And with just high school education, I got in entry level at the bank. Started as a teller. And I realized the bottom of the ladder is not for me. And I learned somewhere that education is the key. So I went on and I did a diploma in finance, a bachelor's in accounting and management, a master's in international business. And by the time I left the bank, I was a bank manager. Education is the key. It opens a lot of doors. And there is a conversation that we're not having. It's about mental health. And at this stage, the stress may be on most of you. The stresses of life may be on most of you. And you're at this crossroads, whether you're going to work or you're going to further your education. But Regardless of what you plan to do, just choose something that you enjoy doing, even if it does not pay you. And I say that to say, during my high school years, I did a lot of volunteer work, especially in the Jamaica Combined Cadet Force. Are there any cadets here this evening? Anybody a member of the Cadet Force? No? Volunteer. This spirit of volunteerism creates a balance between your academic and your mental health. And one of the most rewarding jobs that I had was when I was a teacher. And I won't list out the many jobs that I did, but one of the most rewarding jobs was a teacher, which I volunteered to teach at my high school. The job most rewarding paid me zero. And I'm looking at the teachers, and I must, at this point, congratulate all teachers. Put your hand together for the teachers. You are doing extremely well under trying circumstances. And I applaud you, I commend you, and I just want to encourage you to push on. They, from all accounts, Mr. Morgan, <laughs> you're all here. From all accounts, Cross Keed did extremely well during this year. And I must be congratulated. It is not, when you hear Cross Keys, it's not one of those traditional schools that you expect excellence from. But it is not the school, it is the persons, the people that are a part of the system. And if we have good people that are dedicated and committed, then the sky is the limit in pursuit of excellence. So Morgan, I listened carefully and I note how well Krosky's did at the author went meet. And I must say I was a proud sponsor of that meet. <laughs> so it is good to see that Cross Keys was a beneficiary of, of, of that. And when you touch on author wind, 
Arthur Wynn, there's an important lesson in the Arthur Wynn story. And graduates, I hope you found the time to read the storyboard that we put at Cross Keys about Arthur Wynn. How many of you read it? The storyboard about Arthur Wynn, Dr. Arthur Wynn, right at the front of the school. Show of hands, nobody? You're not getting the prizes until you read the storyboard. So we're not giving out any prize today until I go and read that storyboard. The Arthur Wynn story is that no matter where coming from, Arthur Wint was from this community, South Manchester. And he went on to be the first Jamaican to win a gold medal at the Olympics from here in South Manchester. And Arthur Wint created a balance. When you look at Arthur Wint, you look at Arthur Wint. The airline pilot, Arthur Wint, the doctor, Arthur Wint, the athlete, Arthur Wint, the family man. So you need to read that storyboard that we left at, at Cross Keys. I have one announcement before I go. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, <laughs> all ears. One announcement. I will be awarding to the top student $50,000 to assist with your education at the next level. $50,000. And when I said one, I mean two. <laughs> because I am so impressed with the production that I see, all these items of production. I will make a purchase in the sum of $100,000 for these products, for these products, because I am motivated, I'm moved to know that Cross Keys, they're not waiting for hand, so to speak are going in, being creative, being innovative, and trying to help themselves. And I commend them. So I will make that purchase. So with that said, I congratulate the graduates on this very important milestone. I congratulate the teachers, the parents. I congratulate you all. And when we pause to celebrate today, remember the next step is a serious step. Go remembering, be dedicated, be committed, and you'll always, you'll always achieve your goal once you're dedicated, committed, and put God first. Correct? I thank you all. Come on, keep it going. Put your hands together for our member of parliament. That says when he, when he said one, he means two. So it means... Yes, right. So I would want to take it. It's a male and a female. That's separate and apart from the purchase, you know, sir. Yes, right. Just making sure. Thank you, Mr. Sheen, our MP in advance. All right, again, I'm going to ask you to put your hands together. And for those top achievers who will be getting that prize from our MP, I want you to help me with that one word after two. One, two. Congratulations. Awesome. All right, at this time, I'm moving right along. I know that the day is far spent, but before I go on, I just want to slip this in. 
Yesterday, I was at school and I was heading to the lunch room to purchase my lunch. I saw two young ladies and one of them said, Miss, can I talk to you for a moment? I said, yes, because I'm never too busy to listen to them. And so she came up and she said, she was staring at me. And then she said, um, can I see your edges? I'm like, okay. So I hold my head down. I don't know if she had tried to me your front, picky picky, or what? But she was trying to sell the blissful hair aisle. So in other words, her marketing skills is up and she's learning. And so the business department needs to be congratulated. The child say, um, the right side is okay, but I think the left side could be a little bit more fluffier. So I said, how can you help? She said, right here we have a blissful hair aisle that is produced for so and so. And I said, okay, I will not buy today, but tomorrow I promise. I'm going to swear my two head side them. All right, I swear. But it's fine. I'm going to make the purchase. All right? And we have to support them because the truth is, Everybody will not be the academia with 10 and 11 and 15 subjects, but from the project-based learning foundation, they must participate in real life projects. Connect them with issues that we face on a regular basis. Here we have our Keys Delight products, the Gizada and the Plantain Tart and the other tart. It, wasn't, it is not done by one set of students, you know. It is the parents that produce, that give us the, the, the raw material. So put your hands together for the parents who provide the dry coconut. It is the mathematics department that work out the budget for, and the costing for the products. It is the English department who prepares the brochure. It is the IT department that did the label. It is the drama department that did the jingle. And which other department? The home econ ecology department that made the products. Those six farmers would have killed me if I never mentioned them. Zoya and the team. Put your hands together for those persons. It's a, it's a teamwork. And so when you focus on project-based learning, you'll try and see how well we can involve every single department. Again, put your hands together for the students. All right, at this time, moving right along, we know that it is not our day, but your day. So at this time, please. No, sir. Come again. Excellent. Put your hands together for them. They're working with me. They're working with me. At this time, we have an item by Mr. Noel Young, and he's a saxophonist. And we are going to put our hands together gently as he comes. Put your hands together. No, man, put your hands together the right way. Thank you. Take it away, sir.
Gentlemen, isn't that a rendition? Put your hands together again. <clears throat> we know that we're, time is slowly passing. At this time, we are going to, we are going to invite Javon Wellington, our head boy, to come and quickly introduce our guest speaker. After which, our guest speaker, Mr. Leighton Johnson, principal of Mushet High School, will take the stage. Put your hands together. Mem <clears throat> members of the school board, our principal and vice principal, guest speaker, special guests, members of staff at Cross Keys High School, graduating class of 2023, parents and friends, good afternoon. <laughs> Louisa May in her world-renowned text, Little Woman said, the humblest, the humblest stars get beautified if loving hands do them. Today, I am tasked with the duty of introducing you to today's guest speaker, Mr. Leighton Ray Anthony Johnson, a task that I aim to complete with excellence as my benchmark. While the extensive capacity of our speaker cannot be summarized, I will do my uttermost best to create a glimpse of the dynamic mind that is about to grace our presence. Our speaker pursuit for excellence within the educational sector began at Church Teachers College in 2000, where he completed a diploma in secondary education. This will later encourage his desire for excellence as he later completed a bachelor in education administration with honors at the University of West Indies. Mr. Johnson later went on to complete his master in educational leadership at the previously named institution. 
These academic achievements are validated by many positions our speaker has held. These, some of which are Chairman of the Secondary School Leadership Association Region 3, Board Chairperson Emmanuel Success Prep, Vice President of Race Course Community Council, and Teacher's Representative at, to the Board of Nazareth All Age. Today's speaker has also held many positions in Jamaica's Teachers Association, such as President-Elect, President, Secretary, Assistant President, Public Relations Officer, and Council Member, among many others. <laughs> Mr. Johnson has been awarded for his outstanding contribution to Emmanuel Success School Development Program. In 2017, he was titled Excellent Teacher for the Year. He has also received the R.C. Tavares Award for Service to the Jamaican Teachers Association in 2015 and was also Lascaux Principal for the Year Finalist for the period of 2014 to 2015. The Jamaican Teachers Association also awarded Mr. Johnson for his outstanding performance as President for the Parish of Manchester in 2008. Our speaker is currently the principal at Mushet High School, where he has been since 2010, and continues to ensure that excellence is indeed the ultimate goal for his students. Some of the speaker's special skills are clearly his leadership ability, his clear communication skills, his ability to analyze and solve any issue, along with his profound capabilities at managing multiple tasks. Today, he comes to speak to us on the theme of pursuing excellence and with his many accomplishments, it is safe to say today's speech will come straight from the horse's mouth to our eager ears. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our speaker, Mr. Johnson. One of my mantras is excellence is not just a habit. It's a way of life. So I feel right at home here at Cross Keys High School. 
host and moderator, Mrs. Thompson Collins, education officer, Mrs. Shaw Gordon, and the accompanying education officer, chairman of the Board of Governors, Mrs. Bennett, principal, Mr. Morgan, past principals and other specially invited guests. Members of the varied categories of staff, Mr. MP, parents, guardians, friends, cheerleaders, well-wishers, and of course, the graduating class of 2023. Good afternoon. Listen, I feel at home. Because, Mr. MP, you welcomed me to Cross Keys, but I think I should be welcoming you because I lived here. I lived here, and I've been in this church on many occasions. So I am a son of this particular area when my father was the principal at the then Rose Hill All Aid School. So I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right at home. And perhaps... Mr. MP never heard the other title, JTA President-Elect. So therefore, I am a teacher advocate. So I am giving you a message, Mr. MP, to tell the powers that be that yes, teachers have to work in very trying circumstances. So they must be equally reciprocated in their salaries. Right. Colleagues, I couldn't make that pass. Beg pardon, Mr. MP, I couldn't make it pass. Members of the graduating class, I am certain that over the tenure of your stay here at Cross Keys High School, you have been given a ton of motivational messages. I am certain you have heard persevere i have certain that you have heard the word excellence used right across your tenure. And the word excellence is ringing in your ears. This afternoon, as the guest speaker of this function, I want to leave with you just about four nuggets that you ought to take with you for the rest of your life. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of it all, we must hold this group of students accountable. We are sending them out either into higher education or into the world of work to make that mark. So I have the acronym SOAR, Sir Paul. And of course, my SOAR has a different meaning because we are indeed in pursuit of excellence. We are indeed in pursuit of excellence. Sir Paul, I want to commend and congratulate you and the team at Cross Keys for the tremendous work that you have been doing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is no easy feat. And I know what it is to have steered a school in the middle of a pandemic that took the world by storm in the middle of a pandemic that many of us never knew how to, to navigate. I am certain that the school had plans and had to shelve many of those, those plans and had to draw on contingencies on the spur of the moment. That speaks to excellence. I commend the staff, all categories, for working together with the principal and the team. In pursuit of excellence. Again, excellence is not a habit. It must be your way of life. And I want to leave four things with you, members of the graduating class, and by extension, everybody who is in our company today. S-O-A-R. Soar. And of course, when you hear about soar, you perhaps think about the colloquial meaning or the medical condition of a wound that takes very long to heal, a wound that is infected. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the sore 
that will ensure your performance at excellence all the time. So what does the S mean? The S in store for me and my message to all of you is that you must stand up and stand out. Now can you imagine this world without color? Can you imagine if everything was either black or white or gray? Can you imagine if there were only bald-haired people? And I need some other something again. Try it, you know. Yes, Paul. Me and you in the same boat. Yeah. Can you imagine if there were only short people like myself or tall people or light-skinned colored people? What a world would this be? So, students of the graduating class of 2023, I am encouraging you to stand up and stand out. There are too many lookalikes in our country. There are too many persons who want to follow the same trend. I challenge you to stand out by making your own mark, by setting your own pace, by setting your own trend. Paul, when I went to Mushet, the students' idea of having a good time was when everybody put on long hair and come in the same kind of outfit. Yes. Everybody want to wear a clocks. Everybody want choppy choppy. Everybody wants to sound alike. I am charging you students that God never created a world where everything was alike. So you now have been empowered here at Cross Keys High to set your own pace, to be your own person, to stand up and stand out. Now, the bottom line is there are so many people standing out in our country and in the world right now for the very wrong reasons. Of course, Everybody can cuss bad on. Everybody can knead hand and bleach them face. Paul, may you can go scam too. Yes, but quite easy. We just need to have the right accent. I'm a guarantee we have the know-how. A whole heap of leech sheet me confiscate. But the bottom line is we choose to stand out differently to make an impression or a mark on you. So students of Cross Keys, can you stand out for being excellent? Excellent in the way you sound. Excellent in the way you look. Excellent in your overall disposition. Can you stand out and turn heads? Young ladies, you are more than just your face, the lashes, your figure. Gentlemen, you are more than just your voice and who you are. You are more than that. So I am challenging you. Put what you have learned here at Cross Keys High over the one, two, three, four, or five years now to use. Stand up. Be counted for the things that are excellent. The things that are noble. The things that are good. The things that are of a good report. Stand up and stand out. Let everybody see you for the beauty that is within you. Yeah, man. So can we stand up and stand out for excellence? When you walk People mustn't turn around to look exactly and ask, e -e, I wear that she a wear. When you pass them, they must see a young lady of dignity and class. Look at your teachers here this afternoon. Class. So can we stand out for those things? Stand up and be seen. So we want everybody to see them. Because they are excellent students. The way to excellence is that you stand out. 
for the things that matter, the things that are right. Now, students, having set your standards, having understood what it is that you have learned at your school and what your homes stand for, because guess what? Parents, a lot of you have the standards in your home, you know, and a lot of them hide and do things out of road. That's how I go. We ask you to stand up, stand out, and remember the standards that have been established. Stand up, stand out, and remember the standards that have been established. Graduating class of Cross Keys High School, I charge you today, the fifth day of July, stand up, stand out, and remember the standards. The standards have been our standards of excellence. And we expect you to meet that bar and exceed it all the time. So we move now to the O. We're going to the O. And the O here asks you to open the doors of opportunities. Open the doors of opportunities. There are three things in life that you cannot get back. My father would have said a sped arrow or the bullet, the spoken word or a lost opportunity. Opportunities will come in various packages. Opportunities will come in various forms. Students, ensure your standards will allow you to open the right doors of opportunities. It's not all that glitters is gold. And currently there is a new narrative that describes education as something that isn't really necessary to, to, to get you to where you want to be. And success has been redefined by the acquisition of material possessions. It is not just the acquisition of a house or a car that will denote your success. Students, many persons have homes or houses and can't live in them. Many people have cars and can't drive them. Many people have money and can't use it. Therefore, I ask you to open the right door of opportunity. And how you will open that right door? How will you know which door is the right door? Let me tell you, your standards will not allow you to do any and everything. Because you stand out, you will identify what feel right and what not feel right. Trust your gut instincts. Because students, you are in a world that is big. And people will come at you with many things. But we encourage you, when your gut instinct say, leave that alone, you leave it alone. And then there is the converse. Those are the opportunities that don't appear to be so glamorous. Those little opportunities that will give you the experience. Those little opportunities that might not pay as handsomely as the other one. Look deeply into them and ensure that you use that as leverage to move to the next level. Students of Cross Keys, stand up, stand out, set your standards and open the right doors of opportunities. Not all opportunities are right for you, but your standards must dictate to you which opportunity will take you to the next place. We are in pursuit of excellence. So we're moving, we're no, moving now quickly to the A. The A in sore. And the A here asks you to advance your dream. Let me let you into a little secret, students, of Mushet High. No, sorry, of Cross Keys. Beg pardon. Yeah, 
Because it in a mind to you know. Yes. The E in drive says excellence is a way of life. Yes. Let me tell you something. You are no longer grade 11 students. You have passed that phase. You now must transcend your thinking to the bigger picture. I must gain experience. I must be certified. I must be qualified. Now is the time for the big leagues. Might I remind you that we are operating in a context where AI and technology is the way of the world. Alexia, Bigsby, Siri, all of these things can do things for us. Will they replace us? We are in the fifth um, technological revolution, maybe, and there are those who indicate that this will be the death of us. But what I will tell you, students, is that at this point, you now must leverage all these opportunities. You can no longer think like a grade 11 student. You have matured and grown to this point. Therefore, transcend yourselves to a higher thinking. What is it that I will do? Where will I go? Parents, we are needed to give them guidance, even at this point. Them feel them big. Some of them might just reach 18, so them, them are adult now. But they still need the advice. Ensure the advice that you're giving them is advice that will lead them to the right place. Yes, they need it. So as people who are standing out, people who have standards, people who will know all the right opportunities to take, people who understand the bigger picture. Guys, let me let you into a little secret. You're not just competing with Winston Jones. You're not just competing with DC and Bishop. You're not just competing with Stets or Magati. You're not just competing with Mouchette or Casey or Campion. You're competing with the rest of the world. Students in your age group are equipping themselves to grab hold of the opportunities that come. I am confident that seated here are creatives who have a contribution to make to our nation's development. Therefore, you must stand up and take your rightful place and do what is required of you. The time for farming the fool done. The time for hide behind your principal Paul done. You cannot hide behind the new uniform of cross keys anymore. Well, if you're coming back for grade 12, you still have some time to hide behind it. But if you choose to go into the world of work, and I am confident that there are programs in your school that will take you there. You must know, transcend your thinking, and be great where you go. So the R, we reach S-O-A-R. What does the R stand for? And I like the R. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a generation that softy, softy, a weaky, weaky. I'm not, I'm not talking bad about them, you know. I'm not feeling away. I see them, so I talk to my youth them. I speak to the students at my school in the very same manner. On a softy, softy, and weaky, weaky, and cry, cry too much. In a world that is harsh, cruel, cold, callous. What a world they are living in. When there is so much evil grabbing at their attention. This is the world that they are living in. Therefore, it is important for us to teach them resilience. That no matter how many times you fall, get up again. That no matter how many times you fail, failure 
is not a final definition. No matter how much time you apply for the job, apply again. No matter how hard it gets, get up and go. Get up and go. The world owes you nothing. And this world will chew you up and spit you out. And guess what? After it, everybody going to step past you. And Paul, we're going to say, oh, you know what Sam used to come across keys? <clears throat> he used to come across keys. And he went to burn our bellies as teachers because we knew the potential that was in each one of you. But we are saying to you, students, the world is hard. I will not color coat for you. It is difficult. Teacher, them hard forget peer. Police hard forget peer. Nurses hard forget peer. But they get up and do it just the same. If we were to roll over and play dead, if we were to walk away, then we would have failed all of you. You all have a duty to go perform for this world. And I challenge you to be resilient enough to stand up and take your place. Resilient. I was with Mrs. Cotsworth Flynn yesterday. And she told the graduating class of her story. This is an Olympian who is now a parliamentarian. During her tenure, no, 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 never ban it. 96, they're about, no, never ban it. She had to train by herself in a foreign country. Remember, it's Jamaica she's representing. But she had to train by herself. She never had a coach. She never had a coach. And there were so many persons who told her that this could not have been done. There are so many persons who indicated that you will go no f nowhere. There were so many stumbling blocks placed for her. And she indicated that many a times she stumbled. This is our Olympian parliamentarian. But she got up because she was resilient enough to know that I have a goal. And I am going to get up every time I drop. And she had to train in the snow and in the cold and in the rain. Students of Cross Keys, it is going to get cold. You will have to endure the snow. You will have to persevere in the rain. Rise up and get the job done. Rise up and get the job done. We are living in a world filled with opportunities. And let me tell you, EOs, one of the highest paying jobs in the United States right now is one that is called a prompt designer. You know what's a prompt designer? One who designs prompts for chat GPT and Google. People, when the chat, chat GPT launch, earlier this year. That means that job never existed last year. And 10 years, uh, 10 years ago, the other high paying jobs never existed. Guys, you are creative. Be resilient enough to go create your own path and pay people to come and work for you. One of the highest paying jobs in the United States never existed last year. Who is a prompter? Who is a prompt designer? Many even didn't know that MP. That never existed. Therefore, I charge you to stand up and stand out with your standards. Take hold of the right opportunities. Transcend your thinking and advance your dream and be resilient. So I'm going to ask you to stand right now, graduating class of 2023. And we're holding them accountable, you know. We're holding them accountable. Careful on the front. And I'm going to ask you to raise your right hand. 
Yeah, man. And this, you're, you're the, you, you all seem to be so disciplined. Right? So I want you to represent yourselves to the best of your abilities. You may repeat after me. With these hands, you can't hear them? Daddy down the back. With these hands, I will hold the certificates and degrees. With these hands, I will contribute to the development of my nation. With these hands, I will make my parents, community, and school proud. With these hands, I will go places. These hands will commit no crime. These hands will not contribute to anything negative. These hands are uplifting hands. I am a person of excellence. No, you have to touch yourself. I am. Help me, God. Be seated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we must help them to soar. We must help them to find their path. We must continue to sow in them words of positivity and motivate them to realizing their truest potential. Parents, be their biggest supporter and cheerleader. Tell them the truth in love. Support their pursuits and indicate to them when they are going wrong. The school continue to plant those seeds and to unearth the talents and potentials of the students trusted in your care. Community, the school requires your help and support. It is on a path to greatness. And they will only achieve this with collaboration and teamwork. Together, let us soar to excellence. I thank you. I'm going to ask you all to stand as we put our hands together for our guest speaker. Give him another round of applause, please. Thank you, thank you. And I'm going to ask at this time, I'm going to invite Nishan Hebert to come forward as we make a presentation to our guest speaker. Nishan. Lampard. Okay, We're, it, the name is incorrect. It's mixed with the other person. Nishan Lampard, we are going to ask you to come forward. We're going to invite you here, Mr. Leighton Johnson. The future belongs to those who prepare for it today. Mr. Johnson. Your speech has equipped us with inspirational insights, which we will use in our continued quest for excellence. Your, your speech was inspiring as we heard from a child of the South. As we chat through life, we will certainly nibble on your poor delightful nugget.
Thank you so much. And I want to make note that anybody who said not now go on across keys, this was done by a student. Put your hands together again. And we thank you, sir. It's fine. We understand. And, and so he would have left with us some very useful nuggets. He reminded our graduates to make a difference, be different, stand up and stand out. It's okay to be different. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. Get up and go. Unleash your potential. He also encouraged you to transcend your thinking and advance your dream. Oh, how I love the commitment you made. The last line read, I am a person of excellence, so help me God. That was profound and powerful. Put your hands together again for... <laughs> Moving right along, it's your evening, and um, we know that you're getting a little bit tired and so on, but it's fine. Um, it's fine. It's fine. All right? Moving right along. At this time, we have the presentation of certificates. No, no, no. We have an item. And we are going to invite the class of 23 to come to us with their item at this time. Encourage them with a round of applause. Put your hands together.
Thank you. So again, I'm going to ask you to put your hands together for our graduates. And I'm going to ask you, please, I need a special hand for the musician, Mr. Marx and his team. We inherited their help by virtue of Mrs. Marx, who is a member of staff at our school. Again, I want you to put your hands together for them. Thank you. And to our viewers on YouTube at Cross Keys, on Facebook at Cross Keys High School, and on Instagram, I'm sure Mr. Principal, he gave the warning early in the year that he wants his graduation, this one, to be streaming not on YouTube, but on YouTube. You remember? Right. So, sir, you're well up on YouTube. And so we welcome all the viewers, and we want to say at this time, pleasant viewing. At this time, moving right along, we are going to be having the presentation of certificates and award. And so for this, we have Mr. Ralph Nelson, past principal of Cross Keys High School. We have, put your hands together for him. We have Mr. Paul Morgan, principal. We have Mrs. Valda Bennett, Reverend Valda Bennett, board chairman, put your hands together. And we have Mrs. Janet Shaw Gooden. We apologize for that a technical break as we experienced some technical difficulties for public service announcement. We are now ready to go again. All right, so put your hands together collectively for those persons who will be handing out the certificates. We have the announcers who are going to take the lectern at this time. First up, we have Mrs. Lorraine Reed Henningham, and she's our vice principal. Put your hands together for her. We have Miss Sudanit Douglas, and she's a teacher. Hands together. We have Mrs. Jacqueline Nita, a teacher. And we have Miss Marcia Lewis at the podium now, the lectern, Mrs. Henningham. Thank you so much. Now, as I take the podium to name the students who, who will be collecting their certificates, in the school leaving class, I am going to invite our past principal, Mr. Ralph Nelson, to be the presenter in this class. Okay, now first we will have Demar Blake. John Bonner. Oh, it is actually the Johnny. The Johnny Bonner. Jerome Bird. Shaquille Christian.
Laura Francis. Antonio Lauren. Rihanna Mitchell. Rihanna Mitchell. Roshan Nichols. Nelson, that is it for the class of the school leaving certificate. And at this time, I'm going to invite Miss Sidonie Douglas. All protocols observed. Good afternoon. I now invite the graduates who would have received a pass. you have achieved this great milestone and I want to wish you continued success in future endeavors. I now invite our principal, Mr. Paul Morgan, to make the presentation. We'll now have Veronica Beckford. Award for chemistry. <laughs> Sh 
Shanika Guy. Cyril Harris. Denham Hibbert. Denisha Gregory. Denisha Lindsay, sorry. Carissa Manning. Carissa also receives the Chanel Truman Award for most improved student in biology. Giovanni McLean. Mishka Murray. Mishka also receives a subject award for clothing and textile. Matthew Powell. Matthew also receives a subject award for AutoCAD. Shane Powell. Delano Sigri. Delano also receives a subject award for Spanish. Mario Senior. Mario also receives a subject award for customer service. Alicia Smith. Romario Smith. Jamar Wright. Jamar also receives a subject award for music.
That is it for the grand ones who have received the pass. Before you sit, I just want to say congratulations, you have made it. But remember, the hard work has just begun. I now invite Miss Lewis. continue with those students who would have earned for themselves credit certificates this afternoon. Students, I just want to congratulate you. I know it was never easy because we were right there with you all along. So I just want to congratulate all those students who will now be getting their credit certificates. Anna K. Brown. Melissa Daly. Melissa will be receiving the Tashna Logan Award for Excellence in Physical Education. And 
Dante receives an award for religious education and history. for this category of students. Thank you very much. Oh, 
but for principles of business. is a little bit extra so she'll be presenting each of you with a plug um, help me ladies and gentlemen to say congratulations check one ladies and gentlemen we have just completed that segment of our program, which deserve a sounding round of applause. Put your hands together. Thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Musician. We did enjoy that segment. And as we continue to celebrate, keep the applause going. Keep the applause going. All right. So there is a very important award to be presented at this juncture. And uh, that award is the Isabel Brown Award for the most outstanding student. And that student is Conway Daly. I want you to put your hands together. At this time, I see you're enjoying it. At this time, yes, make the noise, make the noise. Make more noise. All right. All right, hear me now. All right, so at this time, we're going to invite our member of parliament, Mr. Robert Chin, to make the presentation on behalf of Ms. Isabel Brown. Put your hands together. Big, big deal. Congratulations, Conway Daly. And we are going to ask you at this time to just help me. Thank you, Mr. Musician. Thank you, thank you. To just help me with that one word at the count of two. One, two. Congratulations. Excellent. 
All right, moving right along, we know that it is well into 5 p.m., but it is your evening, and we expect you to enjoy your evening. Let me see the hands of those persons who are ready to go. Ready to go. Oh, it's just a few of us. It's fine. We can continue. All right, thank you for that. Now, we have something here very, very, very important, and this to me looks like a very big deal. I don't know what it is, but it look like it's, it sound good. The item is positive promotion. And you would have heard our principal alluded to it earlier, alluded to Mr. McCarthy being a new member of staff and he's blazing the trail. Now, at this time, we're going to ask you to put your hands together. As he comes to us with the positive promotion, I want you to listen keenly. I don't know what it is, but let's listen. Mr. McCarthy, put your hands together. Good afternoon, everyone. All protocols observed. I'm here to continue on a positive note, and I'm here to deliver some message to all the stakeholders of Cross Keys High School. This message comes to you from Miss Sandra Young. She's a member of the Positive Promotion Organization. This organization is located right here in Cross Keys, so Manchester. They tend to host events, and the proceeds of the events goes towards children that are in need. Now, the message is as follows. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to take this opportunity first to thank you, the principal of this esteemed establishment, for al allowing me this allotted time. Secondly, I want to congratulate the graduating students. On behalf of the Positive Promotion team, I would like to update the community and the families of the current students at Cross Keys High School of our intention to fulfill our commitment to the institution. We will be sponsoring 10 students in need of financial assistance with their school fee for the upcoming school year 2023-2024. Students will be selected by a criteria set out by this committee and assistance will be provided directly to these individuals. We look forward, forward to a continued partnership with the school, our community, and the families of each student. We will be having our fundraisers throughout the remainder of the year and we look forward to the support so we can continue to provide the needed assistance. Thank you again. Have a blessed day. Sandra Young. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank Positive Promotion for this worthy donation to our students who are in need. The token is appreciated and please tell them that we thank them very much for considering us. When it is that the community sees the need to come into the school and assist the running of the school in whatever way, we applaud the effort because the truth is the school is a microcosm of the society, of the community. And so whatever happens in the community it transcends to the school. So when they know that the community is assisting, they themselves will go out in the community and help to assist other schools. So we thank you. Thank you very, very, very much for that positive promotion. Put your hands together for Ms. Sandra Young, president of the Positive Promotions team. We are there. We are at that point. We are at that section where we are going to invite Ms. Renisha Coleman and Ms. Sanya Lee Wright to present to you the valedictory speech. Put your hands together for these two young ladies and encourage them as they make their way to the lectern. Keep the applause going, please. They need the encouragement. And please do not stop until they're standing where I am standing. Keep it going. Keep it going. It sounds good. Thank you.
It is said that a journey begins with a single step. This one certainly did. Today, a milestone has passed, new things begun, a goal achieved, and a victory won. Yes, that's graduation. Master of Ceremonies, Mrs. Rose Marie Thompson. Collins. Collins sorry. Distinguished guest speaker, Mr. Leighton Johnson. Chairman of the board, Mrs. Valda Bennett. Other members of the board, Education of Officer, Education Officer of Region 5, Mrs. Janet Shaw Gooden. Mr. Principal, <laughs> sorry, Principal, Mr. Morgan, Vice Principal, Mrs. Lorraine Reed Henningham. Other principals and vice principal in the audience, members of the academic, administrative, and auxiliary staff, parents, guardians, well-wishers, and most importantly, our graduates, graduates good, good afternoon. afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, graduation is a time of reflecting on the past and looking onward to the future. It is a time when we as graduates get together for one last time before moving on to better, to bigger and better adventures. This year, we have a very unique and exceptional group that has been through a lot and grown and changed just the same. So here I stand. So here I stand. I am not standing as a valedictorian by myself. I was, I was molded by my environment and by all my peers who are sitting here watching me. I could not have accomplished this without all of you. It is truly all of you who made me the person I am today. All of you were my competition and my backbone. In that way, we are all valedictorians. As we look back on five amazing years, it is easy to see that Cross Keys High School has played an instrumental role on in shaping the young men and women we are today. Our school is unique and has been revealing its limitless potential. As our motto says, excellence or goal. We do not only strive for academic excellence, but also for successes in co-curricular activities. With that said, let me notify you that Cross Keys High School Business Department has recently participated in the Jays Marketing Maven competition with over 20 high school competing and has earned first place in the first and second rounds <laughs> and is now excitingly awaiting results for the final round. Our teachers and students of the physical education team have also recently competed in the Dare to Move Challenge and have come out as champions. Our under 14 cricket team, though they did not earn a winning spot, promises victory soon. Additionally, the school recently embarked on its own base initiative. This initiative focuses on production of poetry, such as starts and, giza and gizada, sorry. Students learn to create labels, follow recipes, determine cost of goods, and so much more. Feel free to follow us on Instagram at Cross Keys High School to learn more and support this initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, Cross Keys High School will become the creme de la creme of all high schools in this region. I must notify you that we have not yet reached our zenith. We are soaring in pursuit of excellence. Keep your ears tuned. You will certainly hear more in the years to come. Master of Ceremonies, I now seek your permission to take my listeners on a tour of the Pilgrim's Pathway. And it came to pass in the year of our Lord 2018 that we embarked on a mission to the Promised Land. To reach the Promised Land, we had to pass through the esteemed gate of Cross Keys High School. As we entered those pearly gates, 
we experienced mixed feelings. Excitement, we were about to take on new adventures. Sadness, we were on our own, no parents to protect us. And fear, we did not know what trials and tribulations lay ahead. Some of us felt intimidated, even inadequate. Our expeditions saw us passing through the Red Sea so many times that it was only divine intervention that could prevent us from drowning. We were indeed shocked to realize the vast difference between primary and high school. We, were, we thought we were beginning high, primary school, sorry, but only to find out we were reversed in high school. We were, mere, we were but mere little grumps. We met our dedicated subject and farm teachers and our grade coordinators who did not fail to prevent us with the commandments of the school. Thou shall not play during class sessions. Thou shall not wear spangy pants. Thou shall not wear short skirts. Thou shall not wear hair extensions. But what shall, thou shall not do so many things. But what shall thou do? Thou shalt come to school on time, prepared and do well. Thou, thou shalt respect all stakeholders. Sorry. Thou shalt respect all teachers and other stakeholders. Woe be unto you if you fail to keep these commandments, as you will not have a chance to enter the promised land. In no time, a year had passed, and we welcomed grade eight, thinking being bigger, things would get better. We were, however, in for a bumpy ride. The grade eight team was no walk over and would have endorsed the commandments from grade seven. I recall vividly some of our encounters in English classes when our teacher, Miss Finley, would often try to get us back with, in line with these commandments. Look a girl, you know, you look a bit on to chat too much. Right, Alia? But very soon after, we were not able to talk so much because we were faced with the pandemic and all classes held, sorry, and all classes had to be transitioned online. COVID-19 and the changes it brought challenged the entire school community to remain steady. As many rapid changes disrupt our journey from the smooth path we have anticipated. The pandemic did not only affect our schooling, but every aspect of our lives. It eliminated our daily physical interaction at school. We missed the simple little things like having lunch together, telling jokes, and most importantly, playing. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic unapologetically came and inform, informed the world at large that nobody's gonna stop my stride, nobody's gonna slow me down, no, no, no. And for too long and hard years, all our classes were held online. My fellow graduates, do you remember how many times we got kicked offline? Do you remember how many times we lost internet connection? We could not log on because we misplaced the, the class code, the numbers in the class code room. We could not speak because the microphone would not open. And when the teacher asked a question, mommy opened the microphone and answered promptly. Renisha can't answer now, miss, because she's gonna shop. It was quite a pandemic. Fast forward to grade 11. We were back to face to face, we were back to face to face classes and with the same uncertainties and fear that we entered in grade seven. We were now challenged with SBAs to complete and deadlines to meet, job experience, huh, and most importantly, preparation for the CSEC examination. And with all of this came a change of uniform. When we talk about starting from scratch, it looks somewhat like this. But we knew we would overcome all because we had teachers like Mr. King and Mrs. Nita who constantly instilled in us that we had to pass by any means necessary. Even if you don't have to hate me, you don't have to pass the subject. <laughs> to be honest, we have spent five glorious years at Cross Keys High School. True or false? 
As our feet touch the sacred land, graduation, we look back as we salute. As our feet touch the sacred land, graduation, we look back with gratitude as we salute all those who built this peaceful, pleasant, and productive world. Our parents and guardians who mothered and fathered us, we adore you. Thank you for providing the basic needs for us to reach the promised land. Nurse, we could not have made it without your TLC. A cup of tea and our bandage for our acne is both real and imaginary. We are especially grateful for our hideout spot when we did not complete assignments and we knew the teachers would be angry with us. Thanks to the administrative staff that helped our days to be better and brighter. To the auxiliary staff, especially Mr. Gary, your work has not gone unnoticed. You ensure that we had You ensure that we had a clean and healthy environment. To the talk shop and canteen teams, thank you for satisfying our appetites for the five years. Those cup of soup surely bust some gas. To the security team, you put your lives on the line to make sure we're safe and secure. Thank you. Our guidance counselors, Mrs. Jones and Mrs. Wellington, were deeply in debt to you for nurturing and guiding us in the right direction. To Mr. Smalling, our Dean of Discipline, we know we had you on your toes and often took you for a ride. Thank you for your patience and tolerance. Our principals, past and present, your teacher, sorry. Our principals, past and present, Vice principals, teachers, words are not enough to express our gratitude to you. Your indelible contribution to our hostile development has far exceeded any other. To everyone, our success is your success. For you have given us the freedom to dare, the courage to excel, and believe that we can achieve our best. You have been there for us with support and care. You had faith when we doubted ourselves. For all of these, we, the class of 2023, thank you wholeheartedly. Fellow graduates, we have made it. We finally made it. We are graduating. Congratulations. We now stand as if before us are thousands of doors, each door different from the other, each potent with opportunities for every one of us. We are now supposed to say farewell to this institution, to those who maintain it and those who stand with us and behind us. But I hope this farewell is for see you later, when we are all working together towards a pedagogic moment Dearly beloved, so it was in the beginning, so it is in the end. We came, we saw, and today we conquered. Sila. What a wonderful speech. You put your hands together for our two beautiful ladies on delivering the, valedic the valedictory speech. You see, when we succeed, everyone celebrates. You recognize how they felt about the, the Keys Delight products and the business department, Blissful Hair Isle. The students feel good about what they do. And so you, the parents and the audience, need to show them some love. Put your hands together. And I want to encourage you to speak positive things at all times. Positive words, the words in general are like pregnancy. They wait in the atmosphere to manifest in your life. So speak positivity at all times. I remember the, the guest speaker said, these hands 
will hold degrees of all levels, and I want you to be committed to that. Again, congratulations. Moving on, we have expressions of appreciation, and this will be done by Conway Daly. Put your hands together, and, in, and welcome Conway to the podium, to the lectern, as he make the presentation. Keep it going, man, keep it going. You don't want to make him lonely as he make his way here. Come on, may stay with you, it's fine. Come on, I'll, I'll see you right here, relax. It's okay. We never let them go, you know. Then so when they're small, they entangle with heart. When they're big, they entire up with No, we foot they entangle when they're small. And when they're big, they entangle with heart. They never leave, so it's fine. All right, so at this time, he's going to express gratitude to the persons who had assisted with the presentation of the certificate. You see? It's fine, you can do it, come on. Put your hands together, I want you to help him to be relaxed and help him to feel comfortable as he say, remember, say, you're the top boy, you know, so I guess I to just tell him thanks. I just want to say thanks to the person. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, so as he gets himself together, himself together, we are uh, kind of having him relax and um, to say thanks. And can we, we know that you're going to do it. Just say thanks and then we'll He's nervous, and you see, the truth is, it's not very easy. When you're up here, and think of 100 persons down there, that is 200 eyes, you know. So it is not very easy. So let us help him to relax and, and to understand that um, he can do it. It's fine. As he settles, just help me to say congratulations after two, like we sing that one line. One, two, and he's going to be ready after that. One, two. Okay. So I just wanted to say thank you to the, um, the presenters and to my colleagues for this. Thanks to behalf of all of the graduates. graduates. All right, so I'm getting some company for Conway. Rachel Lewis, put your hands together as Rachel comes, and both of them, she's going to do it. Conway is going to stay here, so Rachel is going to do it. Decide.
Stealing credits. Are you still playing? Oops. Oops. Question. Hmm? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me finish. Let me just finish. Let me finish. Words from William Hoss Award. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Master of Ceremony, Mrs. Rosemary Thompson Collins. Distinguished guest speaker, Mr. Linton Johnson. Chairman of the board, Mrs. Valda Bennett. Other members of the board, Education Officer of Region 5, Mrs. Janet Shaw Gordon, Principal Mr. Paul Morgan, Vice Principal Mrs. Mr. Lauren Reed Henningham, other principals and vice principals in the audience, member of the academic, administrative, and auxiliary staff, parents, guardians, well wishers, and most importantly, our graduates, good afternoon. Today, I have the privilege of delivering the vote of thanks on behalf of my fellow graduates. To express our gratitude to all participants and guest speakers who have graced this joyous afternoon with their presence and made today's event a phenomenal success. First and foremost, I must thank the Almighty who has kept us safe through all the challenges we have faced. Many, many were not so fortunate to grace today's event so gratitude goes out to the Almighty One above for allowing us to celebrate our achievements. Special thanks to Mrs. Yvonne Sinclair Arkins for involving the presence of God in our midst today. We are but complete failure without him. Sincere gratitude to the Master of Ceremony, Mrs. Rosemary Thompson Collins, who has confidently led today's proceedings with such flair and vigor. Thank you to our Vice Principal, Mrs. Laureen Reed Henningham, who has made our guests and participants feel welcome. I believe everyone was touched by the incredible warmth of your reception and generosity. I would like to extend gratitude to the Chairman of Board of Governors, Mrs. Valda Bennett, Education Officer for Region 5, Mrs. Janet Shaw Godden. Member of Parliament for South Manchester, Mr. Robert Chin, and PTA President, Ms. Yvonne Turner, for having participated in today's celebration by way of bringing greetings. To our principal, Mr. Paul Morgan, thank you for reporting on the matters of the school, which would have included its achievements and shortcomings. Utmost gratitude to our very own graduate, Javon Wellington, for so eloquently introducing our guest speaker. To our guest speaker, Mr. Linton Johnson, thank you for your words of inspiration and encouragement. We assure you that we will treasure your wise and profound words as we continue in our pursuit of excellence. I want to thank wholeheartedly the musical band for the, from the Bel Air High School and Mr. Noel Young for their breathtaking performances and flair and making the program enjoyable. Heartfelt gratitude to the beautiful ladies who have announced and presented us with our awards. I salute and thank you for making us feel special. Thank you to our valedictorians, Ms. Renisha Coleman and Ms. Sanali Wright, who took us down memory lane and left us with some inspiring words. I must express heartfelt gratitude to all those who have diligently nurtured and supported us throughout our five-year tenure at Cross Keys High School. Our esteemed principal, vice principal, all members of the administrative, academic, and auxiliary staff. To Mrs. Camille Marks, head of the graduating committee, and her team, thank you for ably guiding the graduation proceedings. To the decorative hands and minds at the Cross Keys High School, the photographer who came together to make this afternoon an extraordinary one, thank you wholeheartedly. And now I want to extend an enormous thank you to our number one cheerleader and support system, our parents, guardians, and well-wishers. You all have dedicated your time and effort. We, 
sorry, and we are most grateful for all the sacrifices you have made for us. You have given us one of the greatest gifts, an education, the best legacy parents could pass to their children. Thank you for believing in us. This achievement would not have been possible without your financial and emotional support. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate having this moment. It was such an honor with where we are not held by hand, we were not pampered, we endured. And now we have emerged better and more passionate than we had begun. We have emerged as the persons we are meant to be. We have emerged whole and complete, undoubtedly by the grace of God. And for this, I say thank you to all those who have contributed. Thank you. No, man, give them a bigger hand. Sometimes uh, these are the things that remind us that we are human beings. All of us are humans. Put your hands together again for them. All right. We're at this point. Miss, Miss Wilburn, you want to come? I know that you have some presentations to make. You want to just do it quickly? The vote of thanks has gone, and um, I think you are indicating some presentations that are not on the... Good afternoon, everyone. I would just like to ask the presenters, Mrs. Shaw Gooden, Mrs. Valda Bennett, Mrs. Mr. Paul Morgan, and Mr. Ralph Nelson to come for me, please. So, Mrs. Rosemary Collins, we have a gift basket for you. Mr. Ralph Nelson, Mrs. Rosemary Collins, on behalf of the graduating class of 2023, we would like to present this as a token to you to express our gratitude for chairing our program so ably. Thank you. Mr. Ralph Nelson, thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Shorgoden, thank you very much. Mr. Paul Morgan, thank you, sir. <laughs> Mrs. Valda Bennett, thank you very much, chair lady. All right, put your hands together for Miss Wilburn and the head of the Graduation Committee team, we thank you too for showing us your appreciation. We are at the best part of the program, in my view, which is prayer. We are at the best part, which is prayer, and so at this time, I'm going to invite uh, Bishop Neville Bennett, JP, to come and offer prayer for the class of 2023. Bishop Bennett, put your hands together as he comes. Good afternoon, everyone. 
I want to first say congratulations to this class. Heard a lot about you today. But the protocols that have been established earlier, I want to just carry it forward and to pray. Prayer is an appeal to God for divine intervention. And I hope this class will believe with me as I'm about to pray with you and for you. I know maybe some of you are Christians, and some maybe not, but I think Jamaica is a Christianized country. We're in the fine traditions of Jamaica. We believe that there's a God. It's along the, ladies and gentlemen, and I want you to stand with me at this moment while I offer prayers. We believe in a God who is able. He has taken you so far. And I believe his words say he will never leave us or forsake us. Bow your heads together. Almighty God and Father, we give you thanks today for the gift of life. We recognize the supremacy of your power and presence over us all. As a people, we come forward today in this event, and it's at the closing moments now. Just want to thank you for all things has gone earlier, to what you have allowed us to do. In you, we live and move and have our being. And I thank you, God, that you have been gracious and merciful throughout all generations and even to this one. We come to the end of these proceedings, Father, and we just want to thank you for provisions and mercy throughout all that you have contributed to the life of these guardians. We are asking you at this moment for your overall provisions for them. Going out in a world that is not easy, they will not find it comfortable. But you are a God that provides. And because you are that God that provides, Jehovah Jireh is your name. We pray for provisions at this moment so that they will find sufficient to finance their endeavors or even if they choose a job. You are the same God that promotes one. And to know that promotion comes from the east, come not from the east or from the west, but it comes from you. And so with that faith and confidence, we ask you for provision. We ask you, dear Father, for protection in a world that is so dangerous. We be careful to ask you, Lord, that you will look over them, that wherever the sole of their feet trod, they're uprising, they're down sitting. They're going out. They're coming in. Help them to believe in you and that they will give their lives to you in a new commitment so that we constantly have you, Lord, as a God who provides, protects. That word declare that we will dwell in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You will be there for us. Be there for them. We pray for the parents and all the guardians and those that will continue to finance their endeavors, that there will be provision always. There's so much things, Lord, that we can ask of you, but we believe, Lord, that you will do our short work and make it in righteousness as you de decree. For you are the one that defines us. You are the one, God, that determines our destiny. And so for that, going from here, we go out with a future that we believe it is well. In the name of Jesus, we pronounce a blessing upon them. That each one will learn to be confident in their own self. And they will be able to remember to put you first. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, we therefore de decree and declare over them the blessing of Almighty God. It will release in their lives that whoever come to know them will see and understand that God you are dealing with and being with them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Bennett. You may be seated. 
I want to, as we come to the close of the program, I want you to just listen to these few words, and it's my closing remarks to the graduates. Don't ever forget that it is okay to be different. It is okay to be different. Be reminded that your hands will hold degrees at all levels. Don't forget to stand up and stand out. You must make a difference and the difference that you want to see. Be reminded that success is what you do day in, day out, which is consistency. So you have to do it repeatedly in a bid to achieve consistency, which equals success. I want to thank our viewers online on Facebook and on YouTube, Mr. Principal, and those on Instagram at crosskeyshigh.com, Crosskeys High. We hope that it was pleasant viewing for you. Please be remembered to purchase our Blissful Hair Isle products. We have a stall on the outside. Don't forget to buy your Sweet for Keys, Sweet by Keys, Keys Delight products. We have Gizada, we have Plantain Tart, and we have uh, pineapple tart. So we want you to look out for those. I'm saying this last message to you, Mr. Mr. MP, please look out. There will be a proposal coming to you seeking funding as we plan to embark on another project in September where we are going to be using styrofoam to make office glue. So we want you to assist us with that. And the office glue will be on sales to the primary schools in the area. That's how big we want to go. We are teaching our students critical thinking and problem solving. Again, we want to thank you for coming. We are going to be having the national anthem. At the national anthem, everyone is expected to stand. When the national anthem ends, we allow the graduates to proceed. And then we will go, the members of the head the, the invited guests, they will go first, and then you proceed according to your room. All right, we're going to invite Mrs. Marks at this moment, please, to come and to assist us with the national anthem. Again, parents and everybody, thank you for coming, and have a pleasant rest of the afternoon. Let us stand.
keep the applause going, man. Keep the applause going for the students. Keep the applause going for our graduates. We know make some nice for them, no man. Yes, man, make them feel good. Sure. We know say you're hungry, but make them feel good. Man. And people this afternoon and so we don't want anybody to be upset with us this today right and so we just want to take a moment i want to hear the biggest noise that could ever happen in this auditorium today and we just want to take two seconds to big up our taxi men everybody big up the taxi men them for cross keys cross keys taxi men they always they're always there they're always ready and we just want to say thank you so much